and today we're doing cuckoo. Now, if you are a West Indian, you know there is some kind of version on your island where there's a turn con kind of a meal, and for us, is Grenadian cuckoo. I say Grenadian just to kind of separate because I know different Caribbean islands, you know, they call it differently. So, all my Grenadian brothers and sisters say, um, Karakou, Pity Martinique, since we are tri island state, and I know people from Karakou have their version of cuckoo as well, and um, Pity Martinique. So, hail up, hail up, everyone. Uh, welcome, welcome to Caro's Kitchen again. And we are going to get the ball rolling. So, I have some fine uh, cornmeal here that I am going to use. I have a little bit of, um, or two cloves of garlic. I have some grated onions, yellow onion. And I have like some sweet pepper with a, uh, some salt and the good old coconut milk. Now, if you can't find it, coconut milk in a tin you know we do the old-fashioned way grate your coconut squeeze out the water go through all of that all right but the first thing I'm going to do while I'm talking to you is to put on some water on the pot and get that going I probably I'll put one to two cups and I will uh, show you the other steps okay So to speed up the process, I actually boiled some water already, but I'm going to measure out the cup so that it doesn't look like, you know, too much. So I am, mean, you see the water steaming because I boiled the water in advance. I'm going to put a cup. I'll just put two cups. Set that aside. Let the water do its thing. And I am going to take all these beautiful condiments here and put it in the water. And yeah, so I am going to put the onions in here. It will come to a boil in a while. Um, I have some uh, peppers that I'm going to put. Now, it doesn't matter. Use the peppers you have. If for some reason... Um, you only have dry peppers like cayenne or black pepper. You can put a little bit of that. Now, before I put in the garlic, because garlic can burn quickly, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a mortar and pestle here. The lovely mortar and pestle my hubby got me. So I am just going to pump this baby in there. So I'm just going to like... Normally, we'll just crush that with a knife or something, but since I have mortar and pestle, why not be fancy, yeah? <laughs> yes, I want it nice and fine because for me, well, at least when my mom taught me to do this, I, she never really used big chunks of things in there, and I don't like to see big chunks of anything inside what I have to eat, you know, in the meal that I have to eat. So I'll, I'll pump this as fine as I can and then put it, I think that's, that, that is about right, right? Let me see. So I will show you kind of what I got out of that. So here is the mortar and pestle. product <laughs> so I just kind of like let me just make sure there's no like pieces of anything else in here I think I found a little piece of straw so I'm gonna put this in here so we have two cloves of garlic in there I'm just gonna stir that a little bit just let it do its thing before I put the salt I don't want to put the salt in just yet so my mom taught me a trick you can put some cold water in your corn and just kind of turn it before you put it in the pot 
Okay, so I have about a half pound of cornmeal here. I have the fine cornmeal. Now, if you have the coarse cornmeal, that is even better. Okay, so I am going to use it with the fine cornmeal and I'm just going to put some cold water in here. Not a lot, okay. And I'm just going to make sure it, it, it stir around. Yes. So, I'm going to make sure and stir it. It kind of absorbed the water. So when I put the water in here, it's going to turn almost kind of like a paste. And then I am going to put it in the water. I should cover the pot just a little bit so it can it kind of boil up. And then, yes. So, thank you all for joining. If you're just coming in, we're making cuckoo. So, I think it's, I think it's good. I will, I will continue beating it so it doesn't have to clump up. So, I'm going to put in the salt now. Stir this a bit. I am going to add some coconut milk, maybe a half cup for now. And then I'm going to put in the cornmeal and this is the time you just kind of whip things and you feel your muscles turn into steel. <laughs> so yes, so I'm just going to put in about a half cup there still, pour the rest in here. It's <laughs> we give you the so idea. My husband thinks that everything we make back home is because we, we got the idea from his island, um, Antigua. I don't oh my think gosh. I know. I, I, no, that's not the truth. Mm. So I'm not worried about what you're telling me. Anyway, so I'm putting in the, it's, it's boiling here, so I'm just going to put the, uh, all of the corn that I have in here. In this. And let's see this baby boil and come together. Yes, it has water right now, but it's going to evaporate. I just need to mix so that it doesn't, lumps don't come out. Look at, look, look, look at this goodness already. Look at this goodness already. Come into Carol's kitchen, all you. The Edwards kitchen, I should say, because you know my husband will be walking around and he needs his little accolades. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is where you have to, this is, let me tell you. Kuku is no joke. It will take a good, um, I would say about 10 minutes to kind of come together. But because this is fine cuckoo and not coarse cuckoo, it's going to come by quickly. So I'm going to lower the fire. I'm between low and medium. But look at this, it's already coming together. So what I will do, and I'll pour a little bit of water again and some coconut milk because I don't want... I'm pouring some water and I, in the water, it's hot water here. Look, it's coming already. It looks a little lumpy. So I am going to 
I am going to add the rest of my coconut milk because I want it nice and oy, delicious. Look at how fast this thing coming together all there. But you have to beat that baby like nobody's business. So what I'll do, I'll you, you can just use your palette. But for me, I'm also going to use my whisk. I'm going to put down my palette for a little bit. But I'm also going to use my whisk here. I'm going to use my whisk and whisk this away. I'm going to keep putting in a little bit of water. It's not coming together already. It doesn't take long at all. Because I'm using fine, I'm using the fine cornmeal. So your friend, Connie, just back you up. She, she's on there saying every time um, came from Africa, each island just has different names. Yes! Thank you, Connie. Teach him, teach him a thing or two. Teach him a thing or two. So I had to tell her everything come from Antigua. Yeah! If you say so, honey. If you say so. Look at this already, Olive. This is one of the easiest meals you can make. Because, I mean, once you try it, best not for it not to have those. But just, you know, you'd have a little arm workout. But still, yes. So, Pooh Bear was asking if it burns if you don't stir enough. Yes, it will. So, you just have to, it's, it's an arm workout. If you find it, it's already coming together. Look, you see how it's, it's thick? Look, look at this. So, I am just trying, I am actually going to use the rest of my coconut milk and some hot water before I pour it in the dish so it takes its form. So I'm actually going to make um, Mr. Neil do some work in the kitchen. No, I'm running tech. I cannot help. I'm and I busy. just need you to grease the pan for me before I pour this up. But I am busy. Look at all this, this tech equipment I have now. And if my hands get greasy, I can't touch the laptop. Oh, Lord, have mercy. All you hear complaints? All you hear complaints? Yeah, yeah, I would love to help. Okay, I but... took up my palette again. I took up my palette again. Because this is, it. I'm telling you, look at this, look at this, beauty. Oh, if you all can only smell, woo! I think I'm going to do the Zinia dance again. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> yes, I, my people. So the green you're seeing here is, are the peppers. So we have a question from Katie Bright. They're asking, uh, where did you get the cornmeal? Oh, so I got it from Fiesta. This is one of the Spanish uh, um, stores. So that's where I got the cornmeal. There. Woo! I'm telling you, I'm getting a, an arm workout, y'all. An arm workout. But this is almost ready. So I'm going to just kind of lower the fire on low. And then I am going to take some butter and grease my pan. So I'm just using a tissue and I'm going to grease the pan, but I have to watch this very, very carefully. See, it's already coming together. So it's on low, low, low. So I'm going to grease that pan now. On my dish, rather. Oh my goodness. And you know what? I am actually going to put a little bit of butter in the cornmeal here. I don't know if my mom and grandma would agree with this, but <laughs> I think everything with butter would be, is better. Everything with butter is better. So this, this cornmeal coming together, you have coconut milk, nice seasoning. And now I put a, a two tablespoon of butter in there. Ooh, we nice all there, we nice. Yes, I think it's nice and smooth. Listen, this palette is like the magic palette. See, mom blessed me with this palette a long time ago. And I tell you, this is it. So how do you know, how do you know what the palette is? Is that? It's a wooden spoon. I just call it, you know, that's what my mom calls it. Well, in it's Antigua, we call it the pot spoon. The pot spoon. <laughs> And you can use it for more than cooking, but we're not going to dive into that. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we go. Anyway, so I'm going to throw this away. We are ready practically to pour this out. This is nice and smooth, y'all. Nice and smooth. Look at how thick it is. See, when I pick this up, 
It's stiff, it will hold together. That's why you know it's ready. Nice. I have it on low fire. I have it on low so that we can, yeah. I'm gonna put it up just a tad and then get ready to pour this out and it will take on the form of the dish. Yes, I look at this, look at this. Nice and creamy. Now at this stage. Before it takes the form of the dish, I'm sure you hear the term polenta. So um, a lot of restaurant dishes, at this point, they will take it out and place it on a plate and you can eat it with whatever. But um, for me, I am actually going to take it out soon, put it in the dish, and then leave it to cool before I cut into it. Okay, so are we ready? Are we ready? Ready to pour? Now this is the tricky stage, y'all. Very quick, very quick. So if you have some fine cornmeal and you're coming home and you're busy, you're tired, just whip this up before you know it, it's time. So I'm actually gonna pour this out. I probably should turn this way, I don't know. Can you see? All right, y'all. So I'm pouring this out here. Let me take my palette and... Yes. I'm getting all of this goodness out, y'all. All of this goodness. I'm gonna turn so you can see some of this. minutes and 57 seconds no I was done before that hmm. I was just garnishing before so my husband is trying to show me up as per usual 
but nonetheless i'm gonna let that pass so that's my beautiful dish all plated you might want to come and take a picture honey of this goodness here i try to smooth it out as much as possible and now i am going to try to plate well, it, it still has to cool for a little bit. I'm a little anxious, can you tell? <laughs> so, I am just getting all the different things that I need for the plating. Because this is this is my hubby's dinner, y'all. So <laughs> I it, it better come right because you know you wouldn't hear the end of it. I'm just saying it's <laughs> coming late. That's oh what my goodness, he is oh he is a character, can you tell? That's, that's what I'm saying. So that's I'm true. getting my plate ready. I have some smoked salmon here. I have some smoked salmon that I'm actually gonna use. Now, traditionally after when you cook or you make cuckoo. You can, the sides, you can use kalaloo, which is a dark green vet, um, leafy vegetable. You can use spinach and eggplant. So today, what I did was a combination. I, I didn't have kalaloo, so I used spinach, eggplant, and okra. And I'm going to put that along with my smoked salmon and cut the polenta and boom. We will be having dinner. I hope that you will try this. If you have the fine... Um, Corn, it comes very quickly, five, seven minutes, boom, you're done. And um, all you need to do is to find a nice dish, have it cool for another 10 minutes or so, and then get all your plating um, on the rug, okay? So I have, I'm gonna just cut up these beautiful seasoning here. So yeah, I am just doing a little, just a little chop. Nice, okay. Great. Do a little hand wash or finger wash. <laughs> and because I'm gonna deal with fish, I need to make sure I'm put on my gloves because it's smoked salmon. And I don't want my hands to smell like smoke after this. So I got my gloves in here. So how are you going to do the smoke salmon? Like, if you just check it, see if you can do it like how I normally do it. Well, how is it that you normally do it? Because I, I'm still waiting. This show is not about me, it's about you. Go ahead. I'm you still waiting. Do? So this smoked salmon is already cut, but I'm just going to... Uh, Spread uh, just a little bit or squeeze just a little bit of lemon. It's very thin. It's thin, thin slices here. So I am just going to squeeze like a little. I have like a half a lemon. I'm just squeezing the juices out of this. And I'm going to take this smoked salmon here. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to fold it, put it on the side, there are so many ways you can plate this, but I'm just going to use just a little, I'm going to definitely put this here on the side for garnish. I'm going to take these off. Alright, so I have here, I have a hot plate. It's all Grenadian, y'all. All Grenadian. <laughs> Isn't that and the one you bought the last time you went to Antigua? No. Oh, let's check it. So, and I did some. As I said, kalaloo and all of that goodness earlier. So I am just going to put, let me see, I'm gonna just do the finger test. 
Yes, the kuku seem to be almost ready to cut. And I am going to cut the kuku and put it there and put some of that goodness on top. So the thing is, because it's Mother's Day, I'm going to try to use a, a, a flower to cut this off. And then I am going to see if I can lift it after I cut it. So I am just going to use these handy because I did the, the little finger test and it bounced back. So I think it's ready to cut. And I am just going to try again because it's Mother's Day. I am going to try to do a flower and just cut this. Let me see if I can lift it up. Yes, I think I can. Just, it's still, woo. Yes, look at that. I'm gonna put this away. I need it. Yeah. All right, so we have Mr. Head Chef come in and try to fix this. Okay, so I have some salmon here. I have the cuckoo that I, I cut into somewhat of a flour. And I am, um, I mean, it still could wait for a little bit, but I want to show you how you can plate this. And I am taking some of the greens that I have earlier and just kind of resting it on top of that. Oh, look at this goodness. Yes, sister. So you have your vegetables, you know, you can put the salmon on top of it, you can put it on the side, whatever works, okay? Yes. So, and because I have, because again I have um, fish, I'm gonna put a piece of lemon on top of that. that you can have, let me just cut it in half, how about that? All right. So, I know, I can do, yeah, so here we have the lemon, this, you know, I try. <laughs> You know, you can play around with how you want to plate it. You can put the salmon on top. You, know, you can put it on the side. We can figure out what's what on here. But um, I just put some of the vegetables. Usually we normally just put them on the side after we cut it. But I, yeah. So I just definitely just had some smoked salmon. Normally we would have like, what do you call it? Um, jacks or um, kingfish or something like that and you can drizzle the sauce around whatever it is that you need to do but that's basically it y'all if you don't have any other questions cuckoo cuckoo is done we are you know we have dinner on the plate <laughs> so I, I am happy that you guys spent a little time with me here today and you can definitely try cuckoo. I used the fine corn but you can use coarse corn if you have it. Kalaloo is best and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Do we have any other questions before we head out? Not questions. Um, Pube is saying it looks great. He's super hungry now. Oh, Thank you so much for checking in and um, making having your comments and all of that really appreciate that so let me, let me check and just make sure no one else yeah we're making it. sure we don't miss anyone but all my folks my west indian brothers and sisters those that are here in the states in canada and europe wherever you're looking i pray i am so happy that you how get come you didn't mention antigua again i just said my west indian brothers and sisters but you should so, have so <laughs> My husband wants special mention, y'all. Um, it's all right. Yeah, I, that's leftover mention. I don't want to. My, my hubby. 
Okay, so thank you all for joining in. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, share to Spice Al Cafe and the recipe is on there. Tomorrow after your cuckoo has been cooled, you can definitely fry it and use it for breakfast and you will see that on my blog as well. Any last All questions? Right. So, there's an Angelica Lelson that said, looks great, miss you here in Cali. Oh, hi Angelica. And then Saki was saying, you know, looks great. She oh, hi, 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 hi Saki, hi Angelica. All right, well, one love.